Um, so yeah, how to be, how to be. So family, I'm making this video with a, with a bigger audience in mind than just family. I've kind of been making videos for you guys um, just to kind of explain what's going on over here. Let me take a right. And uh, yeah. Hey, that was nice. I just saw my roommate drive in. So cool. Okay. Uh, how to be? Yeah. So yeah. This is a this is a big kick here because um it's I, so I'm doing this with a bigger audience in mind, but I'm really glad about making this because I'm actually going to be able to show you guys, family, what I ooh, I like that. Hmm. I'll keep driving this way. Oh, it's going to be so quiet over here. Okay, audio is important from what I've heard. <laughs> I didn't even think of that being a pun, or ironic, a pun? A pun is just irony? Look at the mountains over there before I continue. It's beautiful. Uh, negate all the wiring and poles, and buildings, and people, and cars, and everything else. And you see the mountains. So, how to be, so it's gonna, um, I'm gonna try and talk quieter, but it is going to hopefully, um, show you all, or tell you, explain, give you insight into what I've been up to for actually a good while now. Um, um, from more than when I just came to California, it, I mean like, it was before that, it was just, it was really when I got back to Kentucky, probably, oh, I came around Christmas time. Um, possibly before, I don't think before that, but, I mean, it's, it's very possible, I'm not too, too, um, certain, is the word. So, people, I'm not wanting to get the audio in mine, or get my audio in there. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Um... I'm saying how to be, how to be, how to be. So yeah, I guess a simple way to explain it. I mean, I guess it's pretty common for somebody like my age. I'm 21. Um, just to just start wondering about like identity and all that kind of stuff. Like, who am I? And it has to do with that. Like, that's, like, probably the biggest chunk of it. But another one is, it's just, I guess, yeah, it just has to do with identity. But it more so, like, I was thinking, like, how to be, as in, as in, what, what does it look like on a, on a daily basis just to walk around, to talk to people, to, I don't know, do all that, because... I know, at first, I just feel like I wasn't being authentic and all that. Like, it was, it was like off and on. I wasn't just blatantly lying. Although I kind of was in a certain way. Um, but in that, in that process, I actually, uh, uh, I was listening to, like, a, it's, there's this little podcast that uh, these, I don't know, it's called the Liberation Project. It's held by these two uh, counselors, or what is it, life coaches, or something like that. Some people who study like psychology, I think. And uh, I don't know, they were just talking about denial and how, um, I don't know if you can pick this up in the wind. I guess that's what the test is for. Denial and how that, um, how that affects people, and it's just a pretty much basic gist was they were just talking about, oh, you don't want to deal with, uh, with I guess, your problems or whatever. So what you do is you kind of like pave over them and just kind of look the other way. 
kind of thing. And the problem with that is you're not... Uh, a lot of the things that they talk about is like feeling your emotions, because apparently that's a human thing, where you need to feel your emotions to actually, like, like say something hurts you, you can't just like go, oh, I'm not going to deal with the pain. That's I'm going to push that over there and then I'll be all right. They're saying that that's like not a thing that people can do, which I guess is obvious and it's like, it's fairly well known and like, I mean, I think I've joked about it before, but not actually realizing that I've been doing that just because, just because, yeah. And I guess a lot of things with um, denial is you're kind of blind to a lot of what you're doing. So if like, if it just passes by, you're like, oh, that's, you know, I don't have that problem. But then in actuality you do. So that, that brought up a lot of stuff, but that was, that was more recently, probably, oh, last Christmas. No, that was two Christmases ago that I, that I started thinking about this. When I came to Kentucky after going to the leadership school in Pismo Beach, not ILA fam and yeah. So continuing on, what am I doing? What am I talking about? Um, I'm just rolling in circles, really. I could take a left. I don't want to take a left. I'm going to take another right. That's what I'm going to do. And so, yeah, how to be. I'm not explaining it too well, but I just, things are kind of coming out. Um, so, yeah, just kind of, just kind of realizing the truth and just figuring out how I respond to those things. And like, not knowing like a self-conscious way, because they're like, you just need to, uh, less of yourself, you know? Not, not, you know. But yeah, not in like a self-conscious way, because that's actually not good, but like in a, in a, yeah, I just felt like I was lying and I didn't want to do that. So I went on this journey. I'm still on this journey on like how to be. And a lot of it has actually just been like so much, I guess it's called an inner healing with me. Just um, what it does is it actually makes your entire, <coughs> oops, excuse me, your entire life better without actually changing your life because I mean I've had a I mean I changed I pretty much changed my entire life I just I went to California and I started living on my own and that kind of stuff but then you know I started on that and I've been I mean I've had like a just a regular job going to that like three usually four sometimes five days a week um and then like uh and then just cycling through that for, it hasn't been too long, but it's been enough time that you kind of, you kind of get it. Um, in a sense where you know what it's like to do that. And uh, all this inner healing has actually changed. All of that for me is like, it just changed the way I looked at it and just the, it got better. And it makes you realize how good you have it and how good things are and just makes you like a better person. Along, I mean, along with that and just, I mean, just on my relationship or just strengthening my relationship with God and all that kind of stuff. And that getting better, making my life better as well. Not it, along with this healing, healing, it's just like the getting your, yeah, yeah, having a better relationship with God, which kind of makes everything better at the same time. So, I, I, I started the video thinking I could explain how to be very well, and I'm ending this video with thinking... I don't want to go towards traffic. I'm going to head back the way I came. 
um, ending the video thinking, well, I don't know how to explain it at all. And that, I think that's because I'm on the journey. The journey, let's see. Sounds very cliche. I'm figuring it out one step at a time. That's kind of how I've been living my life. Moment is like, I don't know what's, I'm not, I don't know what's next. I don't know what's happening. So I'm just figuring it out. And a lot of that has been, a lot of that has been inner healing and figuring out who I am. Like I said, the identity thing before. And um, I haven't figured it out. Um, I'm figuring it out a lot and I think there I think there are going to be more videos in the future just on this this might that actually might be what I'll be making my videos about is uh, about what I've been talking about today because yesterday I don't know it was just um, because in a in a in my life, I've been realizing, oh, I don't like feel like I belong and all that kind of stuff. And that's just, um, and it's just, I don't know, it just kind of, I was like, oh man, I need to feel like I belong, I need to feel like I belong. And then I read, um, I didn't read, I've, I mean, I've read it, but um, I think I must have skimmed over it, but. My, uh, I actually, I'm taking acting classes, so in the acting classes, the big thing is them teaching you how to be a human being, which was like phenomenal. That was, I mean, I, I mean, I was trying to figure out how to be, like I said, and then I just start taking these acting classes, which um, turns out to just tell you how to be a human being, which is phenomenal and. Uh, totally like a god thing because yeah just because it's exactly what I needed and in the book that I was talking about it's it's a book there's this uh, she's a well known um, actress and teacher called Stella Adler and there's a book called oh like greatest American playwrights or something like that and in the book she says, she pretty much says, as an actor, I don't know if this is just for actors or for, like, people, she's like, you never feel like you belong because, I don't know. And then, um, and then my uh, acting teacher really, uh, really reassured that, which is, uh, and I didn't get it right away, I was actually, um, I was actually, I was just like, I was just kind of mulling it over, trying to figure it out. And then I did a, um, in the class we do monologues, which is like, yeah, which is just like a speech almost. And in the middle of the speech, um, he goes through the, this entire, like, an entire experience that he had, um, which was just like how nature just, like had him like it was an encounter with God but he didn't know it and and then what am I saying yeah he just was like so awestruck with nature and then he said in all that he's like and then he said I belong and then he goes through this whole thing and then yesterday we were actually recording it because it was our last class so we we're like oh final product and my teacher, she's like, oh, you did a great job at first, which, I mean, but she's like, I want you to do this. She, was, she just kept on pushing me for it. For some reason, she just kept on having me redo it because she wanted something in it that, like, I wasn't giving for some reason. And then the very last time, it just struck me that I belong portion. And just in a way where it's it's not so much about belonging it's just like loving who you are and being who you are 
and you want more you want that more than being in the group which is just like which isn't the truth because people are just a group is a bunch of people being themselves and then coming together and just doing that so yeah And that just really struck me in a way, in a way. That just really struck me in a way where I, I, what am I trying to say? It's like I can do things now. Um, before, I mean, I've tried to make videos in the past, but I've always been hiding kind of from everybody and the fact that there were people like outside in the world that there's a car driving right there that there's people in their houses over there I mean there's a person there I was very conscious about all of that and I was like no I need to I can't have all these people around and last night is when I did the monologue it just just like did a switch where I uh, where I just like don't care like I, that 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 feeling of that person is still there, um, but it doesn't affect me in the way it used to. Because I guess before I was wanting to belong in an unhealthy way, and then just that realization, or what it was, was a heart a heart change, um, which is um, phenomenal, really. Now, yeah, it's it's just so good. I can it. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I did just explain it, but you can't really explain what that does for you in just like an emotional level. It just brings you at peace, and it just kind of just kind of makes you more of yourself and it's wonderful and um, like I said how to be has been kind of a, a daily a daily thing I've been doing that's kind of what I've been doing like every single every single day I've just been one after another I've just been like watching I've been listening to those part those people who did the podcast because they have like uh, they've got so many videos I'd say at least 50 maybe 100 possibly more I have no idea but just learning so many things that I had no idea about that are just like I don't know just like how to be emotionally healthy because I had the slightest clue about any of that kind of stuff I pretty much didn't even know that was a thing I just thought it was like a far off thing that people do, but it's really, it's really changed me and it's, I don't know, that's, yeah, that's just kind of what I've been doing every day. So when, I don't know, when, uh, when my, when you guys, family, like I said, there's, yeah, so you guys, family, wondering, well, what are you, what are you doing? That's kind of what I've been doing. Like I have a job, like I said, I've I've still got this job, and I still, I still work. I still drive a moped, and I still work at Gelato. That's pretty much all I've been saying, because those are like I'm not trying to really change anything externally at the moment. It's it's all internal, and I don't know. It was almost like I couldn't share that before, but I can now. Like, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> I am an American, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say, that's what I've been up to, I love you guys, I, I wish I could have explained more, but I don't, I don't know if I had the capacity before, but now I do, so, I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. And other people watching, hope you got something out of it and uh, it affected you somehow. 
All right. <laughs> Bye.